Today we're talking about air valves. Now, you may have just gotten your first fish tank, you may have just gotten your first sponge filter, somebody said get an air valve, you want to build a DIY manifold, you want to lessen some air to a filter. Which air valve do you need for all of those purposes? Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the fish room. I'm Trent Weldon with Well Done Tanks and that's right, tonight we are going to discuss air valves. But we're also... But the, we're going to discuss two air valves that I think meet different applications that are the best styles on the market, but also the best quality on the market. And I guess when I say styles, it really comes down to two main styles on the market, but still the best quality of air valve that I personally have used. And I want to show you kind of the unique differences to each one, the pros, the cons, and the applications that you may want to e use each one for differently. So this is the second, well, kind of the first official fish room, I guess you could say I've built as my first fish room was more of a fish area, kind of an open area to my, my living room and my, my previous house. So I have about collectively almost four years of using very specific air valves for very specific needs as I've run both of those areas primarily off air. Uh, the fish room we're in right now has 30 tanks and I've got a lot of air running through the fish room because it is run by the linear piston pump uh, provided to me by Aquarium Co-op, so sponsored with me from Aquarium Co-op. And I've run a central air system around the entire room providing air to each individual tank and I did that using the premium Zis air valves and these these have been great air valves. These are actually are. These are really... This, is, this has been a fantastic... Hide my face. Come on. This has been a fantastic air valve to use. It's very high quality, it's good structure. Um, the top knob does make it easy for adjustments, but it can also be very difficult for adjustments. So I want to get in and compare this Zis air valve to the new metal air valves that Aquarian Co-op is selling. So both of these air valves, it's nothing, it's not new technology, it's not revolutionary technology. These have both been around, but I just don't always think that people understand the different applications that each air valve can be used for and even in conjunction together. So I say, I built my entire fish room using the, uh, the Zis Premium Air Valve. I followed the uh, instructional video done by Corey and Dean teaching you how to make your own DIY air gang valve using these with a friction fit on PVC pipe. In my previous fish, I, I still caught a fish from my old house. Um, you can find videos of that on my channel. I use the nickel plated, uh, the metal air valves. And, you know, actually you're threaded on one end. Jeez, I forget, it's got to focus. Actually threaded on one end to tap into the PVC pipe and then it has the barbed end to attach to your airline tubing. So I previously bought my, my, metal, my metal air valves from Gemco. Now Aquarian Co-op is selling these and I, I love that they are. Uh, this is a great application that people are gonna need to hear about. Um, and I like that they carry both. So let's start off with price point. Per this air valve from the Aquarian Co-op, it's $1.59 per valve. They're not sold in a package, it's per single valve. Now the metal air valves, they are sold in a pack of five. You cannot buy them individually, only in the pack of five, and it's $4.99 per pack of five. Roughly a 50 cent difference when all's kind of said and done. So for my simpleton brain and math, we're gonna say a 50 cent difference. So not terrible difference. So let's get into some pros and cons about each of these air valves that I've run into using these. So if we look at the top of the air valves, the Zis air valve is a knob and the metal air valve is more of a, a lever, right? Or more of a lever action. So this, they each are their own worst enemy. On the Zis air valve, the top knob the pro of it is it's large. It's not small. It's not poor quality like the ones you're gonna find in like Petco's and PetSmart's. It's actually very good quality and that knob can allow you some fine adjustments and it's easy to reach because it's big. Now, the con of that, you have to twist it and turn it and pull it and punch it and kick it a lot to get some fine tune adjustments. It is a long, extension on that to make that happen so that's my con against it now let's move over to the metal one pro i love the metal lever because i love it is the reason 
It allows you to make fine tune adjustments without turning something a thousand times over. Now the con, again, is its own worst enemy. The con of it. If you built your air system, like in my previous fish room where all the air line is run up on the ceiling, very difficult to reach, very difficult to get to, and sometimes it was almost difficult to turn because it is so small. So now let's get into some applications of each air valve because they are built for different things but can even be used in conjunction. So again, let's start with the Zis air valve. The Zis air valve can be used in a DIY air manifold setup. I've used it again. Every sponge filter in the fish room right now is run off a Zis air valve. Now what this is gonna do is I've got air pumping through all the PVC pipe. I attach to the PVC pipe with the air valve. And then when it goes down into the tank, I can actually fine tune how much air is going to that sponge filter. Now the reason I want to do that is if unregulated, you can just have a roaring sponge filter really boiling the water surface and causing a lot of movement in the tank. Let's say you have something like fry, like I'm growing out my albino kahaku sword tails. I don't need a lot of movement through that tank. But whereas up here, I have my discus, I want a little more flow through that tank. And like my, my adults, my adult sword tails, I like a little more flow. They have some betta fish, right? You're gonna wanna turn that flow down so it's not just pushing your fish all over the place. So these can be used as a friction fit on PVC air pipe. I've got a video on that, I've done that. It's very simple, it's very effective. And in the time these have been running, that friction fit has held solid. It's not gonna pop off the PVC pipe with the pressure from your air pump. And I'm running a large air pump that's pushing 47 liters of air per minute. Another application of these is you can run these mid-line. What I mean mid-line, a good example, is gonna be my brine shrimp hatchery or the breeder box I have in the tank. I have tapped into the PVC pipe with a Zis air valve open this fully. That way I'm tapped into the airline. I don't have to run a separate air pump and I run open this valve all the way to allow maximum airflow. But then I attach a second air valve right before the breeder box, right before the, the brine shrimp hatchery. That way I can dial the flow in at that point. But I'm not having to reach up and dial it up there. I can reach it as a much more manageable area and still dial the air down to what I need it to be. Now let's get into the applications of the metal air valve. Now, I'm gonna say the applications are less for this because primarily what these are gonna be used for is to build something like this. And I've got a video on this, I've done this, I've shown this, is how, to, it's a DIY manifold, but this time I'm using the metal air valves. So these, because of that threaded end, they're not designed to have airline attached to both sides unlike that Zis air valve is. This is designed to be tapped into PVC pipe, have airline attached on one side, and then run down to a tank. So that's really the only application for the metal air valve, or at least that I've used it for, unless somebody's got really creative and found another way. But let's say I, I built the DIY manifold for a very specific tank because I wanted that fine tune adjustments on the levers. But you're not gonna be using this midline. It's not built for that. But I will say though, if I were to redo my fish room air system, I would have gone back to these metal air valves. Uh, the difference is, is I paid all the money and I bought all this, this air valves before Aquarian Cop was actually selling these. But I do highly recommend both of these as they are both very high quality. I've never actually had either one break on me. And to end off the video, I wanna teach you and show you how you can use both in conjunction. So just like we talked about running this one mid line, Okay, you want to tap into your PVC pipe and you want something that's, maybe you like the idea of it being threaded in versus this friction fit in. Tighter fitting, maybe a little better fitting, go for the metal air valve. And these are never gonna leak. These will not come flying out because they are threaded in so tight to that PVC pipe, they create a great seal on that pipe. Then you can open that lever all the way, get the maximum airflow coming out, then right maybe right before your sponge filter, or the best is the, actually the Zis Bubble Bio Filter. So I've done a full review on that. They provide this premium Zis air valve. So my old fish room, when I was running a lot of those bubble bio filters, I tapped into the PVC pipe with the metal one, opened that all the way. Then, right above the air, the actual filter itself, installed one of these Zis air valves because it is designed to have airline attached on both sides. 
You can't attach airline both sides. That way I could dial in the air and dial in the flow of the actual filter because unregulated, that was one of the, the most service agitation from air I've ever seen. But it can, you can really dial it in and do what you need to do with it. So you can run these separate, you can run them together, but again, I still highly recommend both of these and you can purchase both of these from the Aquarium Co-op. So I hope that helped someone at least understand the applications for both a plastic air valve and a metal air valve. Now again, not new technology, but both of these are gonna be some of the best quality you can find on the market. Um, I've never had a ZIS air valve break and I've made a lot of adjustments on these. And the metal air valves is one of the easiest to install and just a set it and forget it type of thing. And the metal is just almost a peace of mind. And then running together, they work great. So leave me a comment down below. Have you experienced the ZIS air valve? Have you experienced the metal air valve? And what's your thoughts on either of these? I'm also very curious to hear how you're running your air system if you are. So again, thank you so much for joining me. Leave me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button on the way out. And we'll see you guys on the next one.